Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the new Rush FPV Blade V2 flight controller and this is hands down one of the best flight controller which you can get as of right now. It is meant to be a reliable and durable alternative to all of the flight controllers available in the market. So this is all the stuff which you get inside the packaging. So this thing weighs in around 10 grams. Now taking a closer look at the board, we can see that it is having this plastic cover which is protecting all the electronics inside the flight controller. And if you're gonna flip the board, we can see we have some parts given over here which can be used to directly solder your wire. And in case if you're someone who doesn't like soldering, then we have connectors as well. And these connectors are available for camera, ESC, UART, LED, VTX and receiver. Now in case if you want to remove the plastic cover, you can do that very easily by pushing this lock button and once you have done that, you can easily pull off the cover. Now if you're gonna look over here, we can see we have two 3.3 volt regulator. Now this one is for your STM F7 chipset, which is basically your F7 processor and this one is for your gyro, which is ICM42688P. Now having a separate 3.3 volt regulator for your gyro is going to give you a very nice performance out of the box and you'll not require an aggressive kind of filtration. Now in case if you're wondering why this flight controller cost a bit extra when compared to other flight controllers in the market, if you're gonna compare this flight controller with this PDB, you're gonna notice that the size of the inductor which they are using on the Rush FPV flight controller is slightly bigger and it is meant to give you a much higher amp drop which is 3 amps compared to this PDB which is only capable of doing 1.5 amps. So this is where you are paying a little bit extra for that enhanced performance and quality. And also if you're gonna look over here, we can see this is our TVS diode, which basically protects your flight controller during a crash. And you can compare the size of this one on that of SpeedyB. And again, you're gonna notice that there is a difference. Now there is this only one thing which I don't like about this flight controller and that is they haven't supplied any kind of 10 volt PEC. Now not having a 10 volt PEC isn't really a deal breaker but many users rely on a 10 volt PEC in order to power up their VTX.